Hello to all my friends out there. I hope everyone is doing okay. So, here we are again. Okay. Today, I, I drove up to Walmart and I bought a couple of things for the stockpile. I think the best approach is no panic buying, just buy a few things here and there. So I bought two pie crusts. I think they were about 64 cents because only in my dreams said she had a hard time finding them. And you know, you can use your canned fruit to make pies. And then I bought uh, two cans of stewed tomatoes. I figure there's a little bit of extra nutrition to in the stewed tomatoes as opposed to regular tomatoes. I bought four cans of, of tomato sauce. And what I did is I checked on all the cans uh, for the longest expiration date. I want to avoid old food and expired food if I possibly can for as long as I can. And then I bought some Rotel tomatoes. So I bought some tomato stuff. For one thing, you know, you can use these diced tomatoes if you grind them in the blender like, um, like um, salsa. And for the stewed tomatoes... If you cook them down with salt, pepper, and sugar, you can add macaroni, and that's pretty good. And then I, I've been making stuff out of the uh, tomato sauce, like tomato soup. And then I bought, I finally found a half-decent tuna that doesn't taste totally awful, so I got two packages of tuna. Because, you know, you really have to eat a little... Um, a little t fish like it or not so I have fish uh, fish sticks in the freezer and I have some tuna and I have some salmon patties so I have enough enough fish to last me for a while and so then I got home and I planted myself some more uh, seeds, and what I did is I had some seeds that were just um, seeds out of my uh, food, so I just planted them, and I had a little dirt from, you know, the 99 cent store, but if you don't have any dirt, just get the seeds out of your, um, just get some dirt and the seeds out of your um food and start planting and then I, I put a little um, fertilizer in there and so I guess I, these are coming along nicely uh, mainly what I'm trying to do is grow uh, seeds using the plants out of, or the seeds out of my food it's coming along nicely and don't assume that just because they tell you the seeds are terminator seeds, that's going to be true. Okay, especially if you're buying organic. A uh, 99 cent only has seeds. I got radish, uh, bell pepper, and beets. 59 cents. That's, that's a pretty good price for a package of seeds. I got those at 99 cent only. Okay, so today I don't have to cook much because... Two days before this, I was a cooking fool, and this is the lima bean soup I made, and uh, this is really good. It's, you know, it's easy to make. I just did a video yesterday, but what I've mainly been doing, this is good. What I've mainly been doing is making soup, soup using my cans out of my stockpile. You know, getting a little bit used to eating that. And then, I still have tuna fish, more than enough for a nice big sandwich. You know, you don't have to kill yourself cooking all the time. Um, I think I'm going to start doing some uh, less cooking meals. Not everybody loves to be t 
tied to the kitchen. In fact, hardly anybody... Uh, I saw this guy, a young guy, and uh, he had bought a lot of frozen food, and I might do that. I'm going to be eating my food pantry food. And uh, I have these um, crackers. I'm glad I bought these. These will taste pretty good with my soup. The box, the box was open a little bit, but the package inside is fine. So um, by doing the markdown shopping, I want to encourage you guys, uh, maybe you're not big into dented cans. We'll just try to find a few damaged packages. You know, that's not bad. Fifty cents. Okay. Now. I need to be taking another trip up there to the Himalayan shop. I love that store. I don't know why I haven't been up there. I need to go up there to the Himalayan shop. Okay. I looked up today what? Is an economic shift expected? 50% chance of an economic shift. Uh, okay, if you had a 50-50 chance of being hit by a car when you'd cross the street, you stay out of the street. So, okay, 50-50 chance that people are going to stop spending. They're just going to spend. An economic shift could happen if people just spend money on on the basic necessities of life you know they're not letting go of their money i'm sure not are you kidding okay risk of a recession 40 percent i would say there's a, a risk of a recession because of the uh, economic shift okay so I think it's a mistake to run out and just wildly start spending your money. But um, what I'm doing is I'm just buying some stuff and being very careful with my money right now. Because, you know, it's I, it's like, well, let's see. If, if things get really lousy, well, then I'm, I'm going to be glad I didn't spend any money. Okay, so what I'm stockpiling, powdered milk and cheese. Because if you go to a food pantry, if something happens and you have to get food from a food pantry, you are not getting much um, milk and um, cheese. I got a lot of nice food, though. I got eggs, and that can be counted. But I had stocked my um, freezer months ago with you guys who follow me probably know about this uh, lunch meat and cheese. And you can use your lunch meat in all kinds of ways. You can fry it, and you can put it in eggs. You can make uh, fried sandwiches, fried lunch meat sandwiches, like grilled cheese sandwiches. You can make, you know, regular sandwiches. Okay, and then I added heavy cream because... I realized that I could just put my heavy cream in the blender and make a um, butter. And it's so much better for you, and it counts as a good fat, and you're not likely to um, run out of fat. Yesterday I went to Walmart. Uh oh. When I went to Walmart, I bought. They had the. They don't always have it. They have the Walmart shortening for three dollars, so I got one of those. You don't want to run out of shortening. You don't really want to run out of butter either. So what I do is I just buy one or two packages of this stuff. Lunch meat, hot dogs that are cheap. I've been eating hot dogs a couple times this week. Chorizo. Uh, chorizo is also good in chili. You just fry your chorizo like your hamburger. Bacon, that's good. Uh, I like to keep a lot of bacon in my freezer. Pork sausage, I usually buy the sausage for 99 cents. In fact, I had a, um, I had a, um, an egg and sausage and cheese burrito earlier today. Uh, Vienna sausages, uh, those are good, and top ramen. Uh, 
when I don't have the soup made, I usually have like top ramen with a pat of butter and some cheese, or top ramen and Vienna sausages, or I stir one tablespoon of water and one egg, and I stir my egg into my top ramen. I usually eat soup at night and eggs. And if you're a senior, uh, and if you can qualify, go to the senior uh, pantries. And then I stockpile potatoes, sweet potatoes, rice, beans, onions, and apples. And so you might go, well, that's a little redundant, and you already told us that, Rhoda. Well, yeah, but you got that stuff in your house, you guys. Buy one or two now and then, and if, if your income is cut, if your hours are slashed, if you lose your job, you'll be glad you did. So the most, one of the most important things is stockpile food. Also, it allows you to go for months without spending money because if you have rent, you know, you have a roof over your head and you have food and water and hopefully a little tea so you're not just stuck on water. So one, um, I've been making soup out of my canned food. Mostly I'm stockpiling cans. If I, if I have to evacuate, it'll be easier for me to take my boxes of cans with me. And I will try to take them with me if I possibly can. I mean, sometimes, you know, it's like hurricanes and stuff. You're just getting out of there in one piece. Two, go to the food bank or food pantry if you're poor. Uh, don't be messing around. Uh, build up your immunity and keep it up there. Um, I take a, quite a few vitamins. I take um, prenatal vitamins, vitamin C, and calcium with D. Uh, prepare for an economic shift. Okay, in an economic shift, the danger comes in because people are not spending any money on these items. Travel. So, you know, if your area is dependent on uh, tourism, that could be bad. Amusement parks like Disneyland, like, you know, the zoo. Uh, churches might be hit. Like people might go, you know, I'm not getting the, the um, I'm not getting the coronavirus. I'll just watch it on TV. And another thing is stores. Stores might be hit. So, you know, if if you're if you lost your hours, you know, you want to say, is my job likely to be hit? Yep, you never know. The hairdressing uh, trades um, are um, discretionary income. So, you know, people could uh, color their own hair. They'll be sorry if they cut their own hair. That's why I used to work as a barber a lot because, um, you know, we weren't as prey to the... Uh, money saving so um i'm i'm stockpiling canned food water and cash okay and the other thing is you know uh like the um i think it was either it was a tornado in uh, tennessee that area was hit last year and in some of the areas uh like houston texas um, that could be hit again. Okay, if the areas north of you are experience heavy snow, and you want to know the waterways. You know which way. Usually the water runs from north to south. So if the areas north of you are flooding just north, prepare for evacuation now before the floods start and know which way is the least dangerous to get out. Um, here it would be earthquakes. Like right now I live in a high area and we're not as prone to earthquakes, but it still could happen. Um, just um, east of here is more mountainous areas that are safer for earthquake, you know, as well. Okay, now if things, you know, if the price of things got really out of hand, and, and you lost your dwelling, like your apartment, you would want to prepare for being able to live in your car. I saw, I spent months on this. If you've been following me, you may remember, you know, I can sleep in my car pretty comfortably. Uh, you move the front seat up, 
you keep your car not too much junk in your car keep your junk in the trunk and then move the the passenger side all the way up and slip a box in there so you can stretch out so you can sleep you know and and be thinking about what would happen if i had to live in my car okay if i had to live in my car it'd be much better if i had to live in my van <laughs> so you might want to prepare for a van okay um, if we, uh, if we, what they might do is since they know, you know, people aren't spending, they might just increase the profits on everything else, you know, take advantage of, of things. Another thing is, I think gas is going to go up, but just to be safe, I would create a gas fund, just a fund that is for nothing but gas. I expect that everything is going to go up. Okay, gas is not uh, really discretionary. You have to have gas to get to work. Um, they could cut your hours and, you know, then you have to get to work. Okay, so now just a quick discussion on plant a garden. Why? Because you want to create a crop circle now before you really, really need it. Remember the story about the lady who was in Mexico in the uh, polygamous compound and an old man came up to her and he said, ma'am, your daughter is starving. And he gave her a bag of beans, a bag of rice and some vegetables and told her to plant a garden. Wouldn't it have been so much better to have had your garden going? So just say to yourself, okay, I'm going to get some of those cheap indoor lights and I'm going to figure this out now before the worst happens. And then hoard as much cash as you possibly, possibly can. Another thing is it might be smart to avoid using cash right now. They could have a lot of germs on it and just use your cards. Okay, and then uh, another thing that's worrisome is low-flying helicopters or planes. So, like, if this um, coronavirus was to take off and there's a lot of low-flying planes and helicopters, I would close my windows, no telling what's going on. Uh, they were spraying chemical all over the people in Wuhan. Hopefully, they had enough sense to close the windows. Another thing is, if, if things get really bad, uh, even evacuation for a couple of days, you know, it might be worth it to stay in your car or your van just to get out of the city if things start getting ugly or, you know, who knows what might happen. Another thing is be thinking, okay, how can I protect myself in my dwelling? One thing is common vents. Figure out where the vents are and and uh, and seal them. Another thing is there might be contamination of the drinking water, so you might want to uh, stockpile bottled water as much as you can. Um, another thing is is if you can seal all the drains, I think that's a good idea. You know to keep any uh, contamination from entering your dwelling at all it doesn't cost much to you know just plug them up and then to come up with cheap meals that is food that you that is in your stockpile like crackers like tuna like uh, lima beans like bacon like tea and so I'm not I'm not suffering eating this it is it is fine so that is my input for today. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any good um, suggestions for preparing for an economic shift, if you leave them under comments, we will all write them in our notebooks. God bless you all.